Hey, this is Jeremy. This is Mido. And today we'll be cooking with calculus. The ingredients that we have set up here are for a strawberry shortcake that recipe that we found online. It looked pretty simple, so that's what we're gonna make. So the ingredients we'll be using are the volume of the square root of one fourth x cubed with square cross sections from zero to two teaspoons of salt. The limit of as x approaches thirty three of two x over x teaspoons of baking powder. The third derivative of one over six x cubed teaspoons of vanilla extract. The average value of 3 over 2 from 0 to 2 cups of all-purpose flour. The definite integral from 0 to 1 of 4x cubed minus 3x cubed cups of oil. The limit as x approaches infinity of 2x cubed plus 12x squared plus 3 all over 2x squared plus 3x cubed of uh, cup sugar. The slope of the tangent line of dy over dx of x squared minus 3 all over y minus 4 at the point 2, 5 eggs and the definite integral this one. Oh my bad <laughs> <laughs> the definite integral from 0 to 1 of x cups of milk you will also be needing strawberries because it's a strawberry shortcake we have apricots just because um whip, uh, whipped cream if you like whipped cream cooking spray a nine inch baking pan but this is six inches good for ghetto a whisk and a mixing bowl. Yeah. All right. Let's get to it. So in a bowl, we will need to mix the sugar with the oil. Mix that up. And then mix it up. The next thing that we're gonna have to do is that we're gonna have to add the vanilla and the egg. So here's the vanilla. Right there. And mix it. You want to mix it up? Yeah. And the Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh! It's right here. <laughs> Too bad. A little bit lower than this, but it was like right there. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna add the egg in it this time. So I'm just gonna put it in there. And then you mix them together. That looks nasty. So while we're while we're creaming the uh, the wet mixture, we're gonna be adding the milk to it gradually. There you go. And you just wanna keep doing it until it's like really liquid. <laughs> I'm not a lefty. I am. All right, so we're gonna combine the dry ingredients. So first of all, the salt, and then we got the baking powder here. And since uh, we're poor, we're gonna use the fork to mix it up. And that should be good. All right. So next, we'll be adding the dry ingredients to the dry ingredients. And I'm just gonna whisk that down. And we're gonna make it look good. Alright. Um, so right now we're just gonna keep mixing until it looks about like that. Sort of like that. And I got Mito mixing it because uh, he's stronger than me. So yeah, until it gets that. And then we're about ready to put it in the cake pan. Yep. So right here we have a, a cake pan. We greased it a bit. And right now we're just gonna be putting the batter in there. Ooh. No, Mito. <laughs> Did you hear that pocket of hair? <laughs> Sound like a. <laughs> I hope I sneeze. So, we're just about ready to bake the cake, and we're gonna preheat the oven first to the definite integral from 0 to 175 of 2 degrees Fahrenheit. And then we'll bake it for the limit as x approaches infinity of 25x to the 7th plus 97x to the 6th plus 12x to the 4th plus 3x squared all over x to the 7th plus 17x to the 6th plus 37x minutes. Wow. So we took it out of the oven, it looks alright, but yeah. Um, but the next thing we should do would be to cut it up into the third derivative of 3 halves x cubed servings. And then you would slice it this way and then put whipped cream and fruit 
and you can put whipped cream through on the top. But uh, we're kind of lazy, so. We got an apricot strawberry shortcake. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> and we're done! Okay. <laughs>